Hello and welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on gross and net pay. Gross pay is the income earned by a worker before any deductions are made. It includes things like bonuses and any overtime pay that might have been earned as well. Standard deductions to come out of a worker's pay include income tax, national insurance, and pension contributions. What remains after deductions are removed from gross pay is called net pay. It's sometimes also called take home pay because it's the actual amount that a worker takes home with them. Income tax is a tax on earnings paid by workers that earn an amount above the tax free threshold. In the UK, that currently stands at £12,570. The UK has what's known as a progressive tax scale. This means that the more you earn, the higher the percentage rate of tax that you're charged on that income. There is a common misunderstanding that because of the progressive tax scale, if you take a small increase in pay that takes you from the basic rate to the higher rate, that you will actually end up paying more in tax. But this is not true. If we consider an example of someone earning £50,000, they would end up paying £7,486 in tax. After tax, they'd be left with £42,514. If they got a £1,000 increase, they don't pay 40% on all of the income they've earned, only on the amount that's above the threshold. So it's 51,000 minus 50,270, and it's that money that they pay 40% on, and they pay 20% on all the stuff up to 50,270. And so they end up paying 7,832 in tax, which is more, but they also have more after tax with 43,168, as opposed to 42,514. So you are always better off to earn more money. Going into a higher tax bracket won't mean that you end up with less money. National insurance is an amount collected by the government from both workers and their employers to help cover the cost of social benefits. There's a sliding scale for the amount of national insurance that a worker pays. Low earners don't pay national insurance at all. If you earn less than £1,048 a month, then there will be no charge for national insurance. Workers then pay 12% national insurance on income above £1,048 a month up to the rate of £4,189 a month. Above this, they're charged an extra 2%. Employers start contributing once a worker earns over £758 a month. They then pay 13.8% on every pound that they earn over that. So if we take a look at a sample worker earning £2,500 a month, we can see that they'd make an employee contribution of £236.04. Meanwhile, their employer would also make a contribution of £240.40. A pension is a fund that workers pay into regularly throughout their working life. They can't access these funds until they reach retirement age. Once they reach retirement age, the funds are generally given as either a lump sum or an annuity, which is a continuous payment that they receive until they die. That brings us to the end of this video on gross and net pay. Join me again for the next set in the series, which will be on the role of money and financial markets. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.